Hop in here, boys, but uh, got the uh, under 11 best and fairest and bomber. Congratulations, mate. Best and fairest winner. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, mate. Pretty nervous? Yeah, a bit. And Tanner Lewis, um, runner up best and fairest, mate. Well done. Congratulations. Thanks. Pretty excited? Yeah. Did you expect that at all? Mm, sort of. And young Tomo, mate, uh, most consistent buddy. Congratulations. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. Now, obviously, boys, you are big year um, for the under-11s, and obviously this is our future of our footy club, so hopefully in years to come we might see you three guys up there in the senior best and fairest boys. But uh, how's the year so far, Bomber? Yeah, it's been great. What was Dad like as a coach? Yeah, a bit nasty, but he's all right. Now, Tanner, obviously your dad was the last premiership coach of the senior side. Did he give you any advice at all this year? Um, no, not really, just to, just to keep... Just to keep consistent and just keep practicing and practicing. Yep. And um, Tomo, um, pretty good year, mate. Now, 
obviously Ronnie, your old man, did he give you any advice throughout the year? Yeah, he gave me a lot of advice to use my left foot and always kick and sometimes handball. But he sometimes called a few harsh ones on me. But, yeah, good year. Dom, Dom Tanner and I worked it out well in the midfield, so we did well. No, well, congratulations, boys, um, and well done. Great year for the under-11s, and hopefully um, next year we can go one better. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, thanks. Lockie Warburton, under-13, best and fairest for 2013, mate. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty good. Bit nervous there? No, oh, not really. You had a pretty good year, mate. Um, now, tell us, what was Bretton Hogan like as a coach? Yeah, he was pretty good. He played me in some good positions. And yeah. So whereabouts do you actually play, uh, tell all the viewers, what, what position do you usually play? Uh, it's usually on ball. Yep. Ruck Rover, Rover? Uh, Ruck Rover. What, and playing on ball is your favourite position? Yeah, it is. Now obviously, Lockie, you've got a massive future ahead of you, um, especially at Warrenine and hopefully um, beyond that, mate. So on behalf of the Warrenine Footy Club, mate, congratulations um, and wishing you all the best for years to come. Thank you. No worries, bud. Jacob King, mate, congratulations, mate. Most consistent for 2013. How are you feeling? Yeah, all right. All right, bit nervous in front of the camera? A bit nervous. Now, um, how was your year, mate? How did you think you went so far? I think it went pretty good. Yeah. What position do you usually play? Just ruck. Play in the ruck, mate? Yeah, are you one of those uh, lanky tap ruckmans or are you one of those uh, big ruckmans that likes to jump over their opponents? Try to jump over their opponents. Yeah. Now, um, obviously, mate, really good year for yourself and for the under-13s. Bad luck about not playing finals, but uh, hopefully next year you can go one better. Yeah, I hope so. Get there next year. Well, congratulations on the year, mate, and uh, all the best for the future. Thanks, mate. Uh, Jaya, congratulations. Thank you. Now, um, you've had an outstanding year this year. Um, have you enjoyed playing out at Warrenine? Um, yeah, it's really good, like, with all the girls and everything and great coaching by Amy and Gnomes and Tam in the last few years and it's been good. Now, you've had a pretty um, successful year individually, obviously representing Australia um, at a high level. How, how was that, playing at um, that standard? Yeah, it was, it was hard but it was good, like, learning new things off my Australian coach and it was good with all the girls, like, we bonded really well and, yeah, it was good. Obviously, mum and dad would be pretty proud. Um, I know your dad would be pretty proud. Mori, um, one of the greats of the Warrenine Football Club. What do you think he'd be thinking right now? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just proud, I guess. You're pretty. Are you quick like your old man? Oh, I don't really. I don't know. I. He's probably faster. <laughs> he's not fast anymore now. He keeps saying he's got a sore hip, but I think that's old age is getting to him. So, um, Jay, congratulations on behalf of the Warrenine Football and Apple Club and uh, look forward to many years to come. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Jay. See ya. Jose, how are you, mate? Yeah, not bad. Under 15 best and fairest winner. How are you feeling? Oh, all right. A bit nervous? Oh, no, not really. Now, you had a pretty good year. Um, obviously, um, you still obviously got finals coming up, mate. But uh, tell a bit, viewers, whereabouts did you play this year? Ah, uh, centre. In the guts. Yep. Yeah. Bit like your old man back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did your old man coach out there at all? Like, did he tell you where to run to, or was he pretty, uh, pretty quiet and let you just play your own game? Oh no, he's always talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he talks a bit about doesn't the old man, but uh, he'd be pretty proud of you and your mum. So um, it's been a great year for you this year, mate. Yeah. Yep. So how do you reckon the boys will go in the coming weeks, uh, obviously in the under-15 under finals? Uh, yeah, we should go, right? Yeah. Yep. Now, you've joined a pretty good group. Um, there's not many of us that win best and fairest as when you're dad umpires. So um, welcome to the group, mate. I know how it feels to have a, a dad umpire and you win a best and fairest. So, mate, you've joined a very elite group. So congratulations, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. No worries, mate. See ya. See ya. Okay, so we've got uh, Meg Hogan. Congratulations, Meg. Thank you. Now, um, obviously, um, very good year for the Netballers this year. Um, whereabouts do you play? What position do you usually play? Winger, tackle and sometimes centre. Now, um, obviously, Meg, you come from a very prestige family in the Hogan. So, um, now, who gives you the most advice, mum or dad? Mum. Who talks the most at home, mum or dad? Dad. Yeah, he talks a bit of crap, doesn't he? 
So, um, no, you had a very good year, Meg, and um, hopefully you girls can um, keep continuing and seeing what happens for next year. Yeah, hopefully we can get to the grand final next year. Yeah, it should be great. Yeah. Thanks, Meg. Thank you. Granny, uh, congratulations, under-15 um, runner-up. Uh, under-15, is that right? Uh, under-13 runner-up. Sorry, my apologies, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, obviously a good year for the Tigers. Where about, what position do you usually play? Um, this year I usually play in the centre. In the centre? And you had a good year? Yeah, I had a good year, yeah. Yep. And obviously finals coming up for you girls? Um, no, not this year. Unfortunately, we missed out by um, two points because we lost to Bell Reynold. Okay, so obviously next year. So how have you enjoyed playing at the Warning uh, Football Netball Club this year? Oh, I've loved it so much. It's been great. No, and it's great having you and your family around. So um, well done. All the best for um, hopefully over the off-season and next year and um, hopefully we can play in finals next year. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, we're just fortunate enough to have Jeff Carmichael, the president of the Junior Football Club. Jeff, uh, congratulations on the year, mate. Thank you for everything you've done for 2013. Um, how do you reckon the year's been so far? Well, thanks, Choco, and thanks for having me here. I think it's gone along pretty well. The kids' development's improved with introducing the second year, second um, training for the week for the under-11s and under-13s out here at Warrenane. Um, it's just been a skill session and hasn't been compulsory and they've had great numbers show up each week and uh, it's a credit to the two coaches, Louie and Brenton, in running that, giving their time and for the kids to turning up. Now, obviously, the under-15s still got uh, are in finals. Um, how do you think they will they will go in the next coming weeks? Look, I think they'll they'll go pretty well. They haven't been disgraced by the two teams above them, Kahuna and Tintinda. Um, we've had a few injuries throughout the year, but we've got a few boys back now, and we've had an addition with Zach Cabone come back late in the season. He hasn't played for 18 months, so I think we'll be um, right up there with the best of them. No worries, Jeff, and obviously on behalf of the Warrening uh, Football and Airport Club, we thank you for um, taking on the presidency this year. I know it's a tough role and it takes up a lot of time, but we do appreciate it and um, wishing to see you around the club in years to come. Thanks, Choco, and it's, it's not that tough a role. Someone has to do it. You have to have a committee. If you don't have a committee, you don't have a club. So, and it's, yeah, no, it's good. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff.